Mark Callahan, Mr. Saltwater Tank, and this is Mr. Saltwater Tank TV. There's two things that I'll always use whenever I set up or maintain a saltwater tank. One of them is salt, and the other one is RODI water. And I get lots of questions about RODI water. Questions like, do I even need to use it? Or my city water is very clean, or I have a well, so I don't think I need to use it. Even people saying, well, I don't have the space to set up an RODI unit. So I want to address each of these questions today so you understand how easy it is to set up, maintain, and make your own RODI water. And first, let's have a quick overview to understand what an RODI unit is and how it makes RODI water. RODI stands for reverse osmosis deionized. Reverse osmosis comes from the reverse osmosis membrane that sits inside here, and the deionization comes from water that is passed through the deionization bed shown here. The rest of an RODI unit is made up of a sediment filter to block large contaminants like rust from pipes and dirt, and a carbon stage to remove chemicals like chlorine, as well as a second carbon stage to further purify the water. After water is passed through all these stages, the result is very clean water that comes in at zero TDS. TDS stands for Total Dissolved Solids. In other words, junk in your water that you don't want in your saltwater tank. Some RODI units have a chloramine stage to remove, well, you guessed it, chloramines. Chloramine is used by cities as an alternative to chlorine as a way to disinfect city water. And one of the byproducts of the creation of chloramine is ammonia, which of course you don't want in your saltwater tank. In the United States, there's not a whole lot of municipalities that use chloramine in their water. However, it's becoming more prevalent and you certainly want to make sure that you find this out before you purchase an RODI unit because buying a standard RODI unit that isn't specifically made to take chloramines out, well, it's not gonna cut it. It has to have a specific carbon stage. As you can see here, it says cavity carbon. This is made to take those chloramines out. So if you buy a regular RODI unit, it's not chloramine specific, it's not gonna do the job if you have chloramines in your water. So make sure you find that out. Call your local city, say, hey, do we have chloramines in our water? Yes or no? And if they do, make sure you pick up a chloramine specific unit. Now that you understand what RODI water is and why it's important, let's go over some of the big reasons that people say they don't want an RODI unit. First up, their city water is very clean. Some viewers have written in to me to say that the TDS of their water coming out of their tap is very low, like down in the eight TDS range. To that, first, I'm jealous. That's really clean water coming right out of the tap. And even though the water has low TDS, you still wanna make sure you get any chlorine or chloramines out of the water by using an RODI unit. Just because the water has low TDS doesn't mean there still can't be harmful chemicals in the water that you want to get out. And if your city water is very clean, here's a bonus for you. Your RODI filters and your DI bed is going to last for a long time. Less TDS coming in means that the RODI filters don't have to work very hard to clean up your water. Less filters means less expense. Of course, I recommend that you always have a spare set of RODI filters on hand as you never know when you might need them. Okay, the next reason people say they don't want an RODI unit, they're too hard to set up. Specifically, it's too hard to figure out how to get the water from the water lines in your house to the RODI unit itself. Now, I'll let you in on a little secret. Bulk Resupply, the people who made the RODI unit that I use, when you buy an RODI unit from them, they give you a grab bag of water hood up connections. That means you don't have to guess what type of connector you need in order to get water from your pipes to your RODI unit it's very likely that the grab bag that Bulk Resupply supplies with your RODI unit is gonna have the type of connector you need. Therefore, you don't have to run back and forth to a hardware store looking for the right connector. Easy, done. When it comes to reasons that people don't want an RODI unit, one of the big ones is lack of space. They say, well, I don't have a garage, or I live in an apartment where things are cramped. Well, here's a solution for you if you fall into that category. You can mount it right underneath your sink usually lots of dead space underneath here, and you're right by a water source. That means you don't have to be running lines throughout your garage or throughout your house to get water to your RODI unit. Now, how do you store your RODI water with a cramped space like this? Well, I'm not gonna lie, it's not as convenient as having a nice 55 gallon drum like I do where I can store a lot of RODI water. But you can do things like put a five gallon jug underneath here, start filling it up, set a timer, and after a certain amount of time, just turn off that jug and you make all the water that you need. Now certainly remember the timer. You don't want to leave that running endlessly where it can flood your house, but then you'll at least have five gallons of RODI water on hand and you can make multiple jugs if you want. It's not as convenient as having a 55 gallon drum or a large storage container in your garage, but I'm here giving you options. Sometimes you got to roll with what you got. Another common question I get asked and the reasons that people say they don't want to get an RODI unit is they say that they're on a well. 
So therefore there's no chlorines or chloramines in that water that they're using to put in their reef tank. Well, that might be true, but here's why I still recommend if you're on well water, why you still want an RODI unit. Number one, well water can have really high TDS. For example, I have some friends here in central Texas, they're on well water and their TDS of the water coming out of their tap is 400. Very, very high TDS. Remember, more TDS means that there's more potential junk in that water that can contaminate your tank, and higher TDS can also lead to nuisance algae outbreaks, which are a pain in the butt to deal with. The other thing to keep in mind with well water too is, you won't know if something does get into that water. Like for example, what happens if your well gets contaminated? Now, you might not know that, so you won't have any way of filtering those potential contaminants out before they get into your tank and start wreaking havoc. So while well water might be cleaner than some city waters, it's still a risk. You still want to put some cheap insurance in, your, in place, like an RODI unit, to make sure that that well water is as clean as possible. And look, if your well water is very clean, then that's good. That means that your RODI unit, the filters are not going to last really, really long because they're not going to have to work that hard. But it's that layer of protection. You're spending hundreds, thousands of dollars on your saltwater tank. Why would you not put in a layer of protection like an RODI unit to keep it looking great, to keep it going? Last thing you want to do is have your tank fall apart, have it crash because something got in the water and you didn't know about it until it was too late. If you have a garage, by far it's the best place to mount your RODI unit. You can easily put it on the wall like I have and you can have a nice barrel underneath here to store excess RODI water that you need. Now, even if your garage is very cluttered or you don't have room hanging on the wall, the nice thing about RODI units, you can just pop them right off and they'll stand on their own. So there's no reason that you can't put this unit right on top of your barrel or on a counter and let it roll. You don't have to mount it on the wall. It's nice if you can, but it can stand on its own. You can put it wherever you want and you can move it around. And with quick connect fittings, you can pie it into the water source, make your RDI water, disconnect it and store it away. So there's lots of options for you. If you have an apartment, you don't have a garage, there's lots of ways that you can still hook up an RODI unit, have it out of the way and benefit from having RODI water on hand. RODI water is one of the saltwater tank owner's best friends. And if you've seen, there's lots of ways to mount and set up an RODI unit. And when you pick up an RODI unit for bulk resupply, they give you the connectors, which is what I think is the hardest part of setting up an RODI unit. How do you get water out of your water source to the unit itself? Bulk resupply, they give you that bag of goodies. All you gotta do is sort through there and say, well, this one isn't it, this one isn't it, oh, this one is it. No more trips to the hardware store and no more guesswork. So RODI water, I'll always use it in my saltwater tank. I recommend that you use it for your tank as well. I'm Mark Callahan, Mr. Saltwater Tank. This has been Mr. Saltwater Tank TV. Until next time, have a good one, enjoy your tanks, and know your tank personality.